I know I need to redo the rods. The spotting in this is going to be an absolute nightmare. What am I doing out in this? Ah uh, yes, welcome back you absolute legends. Welcome back to the Chunks of Fishing channel. Now, I'm still on a buzz from my last session, which I'm hoping you all have seen. I was at Kef and Mabley at the Lodge on the Lake. Boy, that is the best winter carp session I think I've ever had in my life. I've actually got you back, in, I've actually uh, talked to you in the bivvy at the moment because it's so windy out there. But I'm actually back out this weekend to at my uh, local syndicate, at the Birch Syndicate. Even though I'm on a buzz from that last weekend when I caught, I think we had like four, four, four over four twenties out and really high one. My PB common, 28 pound at Kevin Mabley. Even though I'm buzzing from that, back in the syndicate and it's proper fishing now again. Um, you hear that wind? I have spotted out a bit. You might have seen it already in the B-roll to begin with. Probably about 10 spawns, but what I've done, I'm fishing two rods to the island, but I basically put a line of bait across. So it's not all in one spot, I want a bit of a spread. So if anything's sort of swimming past, starts picking up boily here and there, hopefully it'll come and find one of my hook baits. Two rods, I've got one rod in the margin, and um, yeah, two at the island. See if we can get Lisa out, 40 plus. Oh God, if we get 40, that'd be brilliant. But again, this lake, I'm still learning it. There's a lot to learn, it's not an easy lake. It's a lot to take in. I'm in a different swim, that I've, I've never fished a swim before, like I said, it's to the island. So I'm fishing about 14 wraps to that, and then one in the margin. It's good to be back out though, even though it's gonna be tough conditions, good to be back out. Also, I'd also like to say thank you so much for the support on that last video. Obviously, it was an absolute belter of a session. The amount of subscribers I got from that was brilliant. So yeah, welcome to the channel, guys. And if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe to this video. Subscriptions are absolutely free. It does nothing, it takes two seconds, and it's no bother. All it does is just lets you know every time I upload a video. So yeah. Oh, buzzing, right, enough chit chat from me. Otherwise, Mr. T will be getting a bit angry. Yeah, you know that, mate.
So all I got the sausage was cooking, I thought I'd also say thank you for everyone that's following my Instagram account. As you're all aware, um, Instagram I've never really wanted, but I thought it was quite a good idea just to get it and uh, have a little play, sort of get the hang of it, and obviously it allows you guys, if you follow the channel, to be able to contact me. Yeah, it's a bit weird Instagram, isn't it? Like, I mean, I, I did try and use it, I, well, I am trying to use it, trying to get the clips it, but I just find there's a lot of this, uh, yeah, I'm just finding this, I'm just finding when I go through it though, there's quite a lot of um, distractions. Anyway, yeah, so uh, I think I'm figuring out quite quickly how to get likes on there. <laughs> Seriously, one girl that does a bit of carp fishing, everyone's like, what? What? <laughs> You know what? Sometimes you can't just beat a bit of sausage. It is so windy. Do you want to see how windy it is? That was straight. I got it. <laughs> Now he's doing a Sam Smith. Oh dear. Right, so it's about two o'clock, and as you can see, the, the winds are still ridiculous. I had to re-peg a couple of the pegs in my bivvy. Um, look at this thing, it's trying to punch me in the face. See if it keeps going off, because the wind's nuts. But yeah, so uh, it's about two o'clock now, or half two, I think it is. No, quarter past two. So what I'm going to do, probably about an hour, maybe an hour and a half, redo the rods, get ready for the evening, and then just leave them. Uh, I'm not going to try and bother putting any bomb out just yet, because this winds are nuts. I might have a go later if I've got no option. Um, but yeah, spotting in this wind is an absolute nightmare. Got a little window open, see if I can see any fish. It's not looking good at the moment, I haven't seen one show or anything. What am I doing out in this? <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta drop your guts, grab your nuts, and get out on the bank. <laughs> right, I thought screw it, I'm gonna give it a go at spotting this ridiculous wind. <laughs> but I'm gonna change one of my rods. I did have two out by the island. Not much has been going on, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put one at about 10 wraps, sort of mid-water to the right, hopefully around there and then I'll keep one by the island. So I've clipped that one rod to 10 wraps. I'm gonna try and hit my 14 wrap island rod on the money, spot a bit more bait around it if I can get it, and then I'll be comfortable with that, leaving that tonight, and then obviously put the 10 wrap on out. Well, here goes nothing.
to hell, lads. I swear, I was trying to spot out on that one, and <laughs> I just, I got, I, I think I got one <laughs> out by the margin. The other one, then straight. Oh, I don't know what mile per hour winds these are, but it only says about 45k on the on Google weather, but they feel a lot stronger. I mean, you can probably see it. it's a bloody absolute nightmare. So there's no chance I'm uh, spotting. So what I've done, one rod sort of where I put some bait earlier, thank God. I'm gonna leave that there. Just leave it there for tonight. Just leave those because I think the wind's gonna keep up all night tonight, I think. Leave that there. Middle rod's got 10 wraps on, just off the edge of the island. And as you can probably hear, the wind's still beeping out there. Gonna be a nightmare tonight keeping me awake. So it's getting to about six o'clock now. As you can probably hear and see, the wind has been mad. This is mental, I keep saying it, but the baby got ripped up halfway. <laughs> Not too long ago, so I had to run around, quickly batten down all the pegs again. I'm hoping it lasts the night. I'm really a bit nervous now. Yeah, six o'clock, no action on the rods, unfortunately. What we do for a bloody fish, eh? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to pack down, basically get ready for the night. Um, just chill out now. I feel absolutely knackered. Um, maybe put on a couple of films. But once again, guys, the support for the channel has been massive. It's grown huge. All the support, I, I'm honestly humbled by, guys. Absolutely humbled by. So we're getting close to 1,000 uh, subscribers. What I want to do, guys, once we hit 1,000, I will be doing another giveaway. So if you haven't subscribed already and you're watching, all you've got to do, click subscribe. takes two seconds, and it's totally free. Totally free. So once we get to 1,000 subscribers, boom. I'm going to do a big giveaway for you guys. It would be nice to give something back to you. Um, it's your support that what makes these. So, yeah. Thank you again, guys. And make sure you subscribe and like. Anyway, because if you don't, I'm going to find out where you're fishing and I'm going to put a load of bream in your swim. Trust me, I've got plenty to spare. Right. <laughs> I'm going to pack down. Uh, not pack down. I'm going to get in the bed, chill out, and get a bit cosy and pray this baby doesn't get ripped off the floor. Good morning everyone. Now I thought Shearwater was the worst conditions I've ever fished in. You can probably still hear it. It's still bloody windy. Not as bad as yesterday. But last night it was chucking it down. I, the bivy nearly got ripped up once. Honestly. Uh, I'll show you. Um, st stupid conditions to be fishing in really. What we do for some carp. <laughs> Unfortunately, no luck on that front. Uh, no bites, nothing, and the alarm just kept me up all night because the wind was knocking the bobbins, which, as you can imagine, was rather fun. Just show you some of the chaos. So that, in fact, is uh, where one bivy peg was, and as you can see, it looks like a bomb's gone off in there. In fact, yeah, the bivy peg is still attached to there. <laughs> there you go, still attached. That one's there. That one over there, as you can see, is absolutely uh, being Sam Smith. So yeah, absolutely nuts. So what I'm going to do this morning, I've come stay to about three or four. I think there's a bit of a break in the weather, and then hopefully the baby can dry out a bit. Start slowly packing things away later on, but I'm going to get the rods back out for now, get them wrapped back up, maybe some fresh hook baits. 
get them back out there and leave them until the end of the session then. I'll probably spot a bit more bait out around them. Why the hell not, eh? Right, I'm gonna get the set, get that sorted. Okay, I'm gonna start the slow pack down before the bivvy blows away. And while the bivvy's dry, I think. Get it away. Makes it a lot less, it look, let, let, makes it a lot less hassle, doesn't it, later on? Not having to dry it out at home. So yeah, I'm gonna do a slow pack down now. Hopefully one of the rods scream off while I'm doing it. Fingers crossed. Right, that is it. That is my time up at the birch. Um, I packed down while it's still dry and uh, yeah, so the last thing to come in are the rods. Fortunately, it's another blank, but eventually I will suss this place out properly and I will start putting in some rods. But yeah, I'm glad you're enjoying the journey. I'm glad you are coming with me. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll both learn a few things, who knows? But yeah, thanks again, guys. And remember, make sure to like and subscribe. When I get to a thousand subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway. So let's bump up those numbers. Cheers, everyone, and cheers for your continued support. See you in the next one.